Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Earlier in the summer, the Rotary Club of Attleboro coordinated with the Attleboro Public Schools to donate to leftover supplies from the old Attleboro High School building to schools in Panama. Emily Talentino, executive director of Given Surf, based out of Bocas del Toro, helped to organize the reception and distribution of those resources. She recently gave her presentation to the Attleboro Rotary. We spoke with her to learn more. I mean, a huge relief. You, right now, especially with international shipping logistics, you just never know how long it's going to take, what it's all going to, you know, take to get it down there, when it's going to arrive. And so to have it have arrived and been unloaded last Friday is just unbelievable to have the whole community show up, the Ministry of Education and teachers, the local hospital, the local Rotarians, um, kids, the Give and Surf team, all helping to get it done in a real quick period of time. Um, logistically on the islands, everything's just challenging because not only are you dealing with international shipping logistics, but then getting to customs, which is a 14 hour drive from where we are on the islands and then ferry schedules and what they, the ferries running and strikes that have been going on in Panama. There were a lot of different logistics and it all happened and worked out. Um, as I said, you know, a lot of resources stay in Panama City. We're, we're pretty isolated islands out on the Caribbean side um, with very limited government resources. So even the brand new hospital that we had that opened a few years ago, half of it sits empty and unused because we don't have the supplies and the training to, to open it. And so there were several pallets uh, worth of supplies, gloves, masks, gowns, other hospital equipment that benefited the local hospital. Um, the Ministry of Education, so there's several elementary and the high school uh, public schools that benefit fitted from all the desks and then given source five uh, educational centers so three after school programs and two preschool kindergartens received all of the materials and then all the extra stuff that was put on so clothing donations pack and plays high you know there's smaller communities that have significant needs so the community leaders help identify which families have the biggest needs and getting those those donations to those families I was so nervous not being able to be there. I'd already planned to be in Massachusetts, and um, but everyone came through uh, and was there uh, and did it in a real quick, quick turnaround and was super happy with the donation. Oh, it's been at least I visited once since I was back, but it's been at least five years. Um, but to see the, the the outpouring of love, the welcomes, the familiar faces, and and know that everyone chipped in to help the community where I'm living is just heartwarming and and humbling. Jeff and I at one point had talked about if we could get a group of volunteers from the Attleboro Rotary Club down to help with the unloading, but then we realized the logistics of not knowing the window of when it would arrive uh, was just not feasible. But in terms of having folks come down and visit and potentially volunteer or help with a project would be awesome or just to see the community. Um, you know, Don Pierce and I have talked on and off over the last few years about dental programs because there's huge needs. Um, so I think depending on the interest, you know, I love staying involved and I, I like to come back to Massachusetts and, and visit, uh, you know, every year or two and see everyone. So I'd love to stay connected.